be beneficial today for us to take a look at our skill drills E. So this is the coordinate plane and doing some graphing just in quadrant one. So hopefully you remember from previous years that this is our x coordinate, our x axis, sorry, and this is our y. And hopefully you remember that we graph x comma y. So um, some teachers, I think in the past, have used the example of you have to walk to the elevator before you can go up or down. So we go in the form of going left or right and then up or down. So if we want to look for point A, which is right here, we start at our origin, 0, 0, which is this point right here. And we will start by going, first we're going to go two places to the right, to right here. And then we're going to go up. We start from origin, go two right, and then up eight. So our first point is at two comma eight. Okay. This should look familiar to you. And then on the next one, on set two, we're looking for our first point is two five. So we find two. We start again at our origin, and oh, that's a bad, bad point. So here's our origin, right? This is our origin. And most of the time, we just label it with a zero. Okay, and that's not even a good zero. So we'll just label it again with a zero. Okay, so we go two places to the right and up five, which lands me right here. Okay, so this is our point A. All right, if that did not help you, as always, feel free to come and visit me in the classroom so we can discuss these. Okay, moving on. So the first one for set three asks us to convert our lowest, or convert these into a fraction in lowest terms. So 23% 23 means 23 out of 100. So we just write 23 out of 100, and then we simplify it if we can. Okay, we've been working on fractions and simplifying them, so this should not be that difficult. All right, next we're going to convert our fractions into percents. So we're taking them from, from fractions, hopefully to decimals and then to percents. So three out of five, we're gonna make it into something out of 100, right? So you just gotta think, what do I have to do to five to get to 100? Well, for this one, I'm gonna multiply it by 20. And if you can't see that right away, um, you know what, I'm gonna leave that there. Okay, so I'm multiplying it times 20. But if you can't see that, okay, start with 3 out of 5 equals something out of 10, right? So I multiply this by 2. So I multiply this by 2. So I get 6, right? So then, well, that's easy. So to, out of 10, I just take this and multiply this by another 10. Okay, so then I get 100 on the bottom, and I get 60 on the top. So that makes this 60%. Okay, and all of these numbers are do reasonably doable. The hardest one, the most challenging one is going to be 5. And I think you guys are up for the challenge. And if you have trouble, as always, come see me, and I'll help you through it. Okay, next. We're looking at area and perimeter. Um, this one we're finding the area, the perimeter and the area of these. I don't know about you guys, but I always find it beneficial when I draw a picture of what I'm looking at. So you don't have to draw it for every one of them, but it just helps to think. Here we've got length, here we've got width, okay? So for perimeter, perimeter is two lengths, right because we're going all the way around it's like doing a fence and two widths okay so you're going to take uh, number one I don't give you enough room to work so you're really going to need another piece of paper so you're going to do um, perimeter we're going to have two times ten plus two times eight so this is going to give us twenty plus 16, which is going to give us 36. And perimeter is measured in units, and since we don't give it, it's just units. 
okay? And then the area, to find the area, that's all the area. So if this, I said, you know, it's a fence, it's going around the yard, if for instance. So this would be the grass to cover it all. So you're talking your length times your width. So for number one still, we're taking our area, we're gonna do 10 times eight, okay? And that's 80. And we talk about units being squared. And since we don't know if it's feet or inches or meters or what, we just do that, okay? All right, this one's a little bit more challenging because we're given our area and we have to go backwards to find our, in number one, we have to find our length. So if we're given that our area is 20, so again, still using that area equals length times width. So we're given that our area is 20. So 20 is equal to a width of four times our length. So we divide both sides by four, and we're given that we'll figure out that our length is five, and that's the um, inches. I didn't give myself enough room to write that. So it's five inches, okay? So now, put that up here, okay? And now I've gotta find my perimeter. So if I figured out my, um, my length, I can now do my perimeter is still two lengths plus two widths. So now I've got perimeter is two times four plus two times five. So I've got two, again, if it helps you draw your rectangle, I've got two fives and two fours, okay? So, I've got two, I've got eight of the eight, right, on my short sides, and 10 on my long sides, which gives me a perimeter of 18. And that's in inches, okay? All right, so there we go. Hope this helped you, and as always, come see me if you need help.